20 grand on me, Ariana And none of these bitches ain't taking shit, I promise Put that on my mama, pull up on her, got her sweating like sauna he Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Today I'm gonna be doing a fall um, everyday makeup look And basically it's gonna be like my face routine that I've been doing recently And like getting into fall is what I'm gonna be doing for the rest of the year Because it's pretty simple, it's quick, it's not too much And it just like, I've been getting a lot of compliments on it on my Instagram if you're not following me make sure to go follow me on instagram and yeah so i'm just gonna be doing an easy fall makeup routine basically what i already did was i used lotion on my face because i just got out of the shower not too long ago and i used the cerave moisturizing lotion it comes in like a jar and then um i did my eyebrows off camera because i haven't um plucked them in a while look at me <laughs> My girlfriend's in the background doing homework and I don't want her looking at me because she's going to make me nervous. Anyways, so basically what I did for my eyebrows was I used my Morphe eyebrow pencil that I always use. It's in the color Chocolate Mousse. And then I used my Too Faced concealer, same one I use all the time. And now I'm just going to start on my face and show you guys what I use and what I do. What I start out with is my Too Faced Hangover Primer. And I just squirt some of this on my hand. And like the pumps all fucked up, so I like squeeze it out of the side. And then just apply this. It's not this. This primer gives your face like a tacky base. So it helps like the primer. I mean it helps your foundation stick to your face really well. It's not silicone based, so it's not gonna fill in your pores. But in my overall opinion. I feel like it works good in general like you don't really need a pore primer unless you have really big pores i use a retinol so my pores aren't like huge but they're bare but i feel like this primer just works good enough so i don't really bother with an extra step to use a pore defining primer and then what i do is i take my Too Faced concealer the one that i used for um my eyebrows and i just go like this and then I take my foundation. This is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. And you guys, if you haven't tried this foundation, you need to try it. It is perfect. It is the best drugstore foundation that I have ever tried, and I have tried a lot. It's pretty similar, I would say, in finish to the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. But I just feel like the finish is a lot smoother. It doesn't look as powdery, but it's still pretty matte, but it's more like a satin matte. And it just like blends so well into your skin. And my skin's a little fucked up because I have acne. It's not as bad as it used to be. If you guys used to watch my old makeup videos, you know it was horrible. But now it's a lot better. Um, but I still do have acne on my cheeks. Um, I haven't really gotten rid of that but the retinol that I'm using helps a lot so then after I apply it to my face I kind of smear it in with my finger at first to get like an even like application I guess at least for me and then I take my elf blending brush and just go like this and kind of like swipe and dab at the same time I just do this all over my face and I do I blend out my concealer last so just leave this on and as you can see it's not like too much it's more of a natural look i guess you would say if it's what you consider natural and then for my under my eyes i use my um real technique sponge i didn't even bother wetting it because i honestly just use it like barely i only i barely use it i just use it for like my under eyes so i don't really need to wet it right now and plus i was too lazy to get up but I just use this to blend out my concealer just like this and I try to stick to like keeping the foundation right under my eyes and just like bring it up a little bit on my nose but main mainly keeping it like right here and I just move to the other side <laughs> you want to you can put like whatever's left on the sponge on your eyelids but sometimes i do 
but other times like today i personally like the look of like a darker eyelid because i feel like it gives you like a natural eyeshadow look without having to put on eyeshadow so you could try that too if you like the look of like your eyes being the same as your concealer or you want to put eyeshadow on then you could just bring up whatever's on the sponge onto your eyelid and then put on your eyeshadow or whatever you want to do but for now this is how i'm going to leave my face um so as you can see it's already like it's pretty natural it's not too much i forgot to bring it on my neck a little bit i usually don't go all the way down my neck because the foundation is pretty close to my shade so i kind of just like make like a double chin look and then like blend whatever's on the brush down my side of my face and that's about it and then i take my mac studio fix um powder and this is an nc20 i take my sponge just go like this and i go straight into setting my under eye and i focus it mainly like right in like the socket take more focus it right in the socket and then I start blending it out a little bit more onto like the rest of my cheekbone and then I set my smile lines because I do crease a lot right here I have no idea why my smile lines are so bad but they are and then I bring it on my nose just because I like the little bit of extra coverage that it gives. And then just a little bit on my cheeks. You could use a brush for this part too, but you don't have to. Okay? It's already playing out of nowhere. Can you pause it? Thank you. Mm -hmm. to the other side. So now that my face is set, I didn't even bother setting my forehead because honestly, it's not really like hot outside, so it's not gonna get that oily. If it was summertime, I'd set my forehead, but the foundation is already like matte for the most part, so you don't really need to set it if your face doesn't get like OD oily. But um, I personally can blend powder on top of this foundation. If you're more oily than I am, then maybe test it out for you and see what works. And now I'm going to take my Smashbox um, Contour Palette. This is the Holidays Contour and Spotlight Palette. So it has like all these shades. This is like the Holiday Edition one. And um, actually has really nice colors in it. So I would recommend this if you guys um, can get your hands on it still. And these are all the colors it comes with. Isn't it so pretty? I'm just gonna take this shimmery like bronzer right here um i usually use like all the colors like i've used pretty much all the colors in here but recently i've been liking the shimmery bronze shade um because i just like shimmeriness if you like a more matte look then go ahead and use a matte one this um this one in the middle is also really good i use that one too pretty often but these past few days i've been into the shimmery look so i'm just gonna take a big brush dip into that and i'm going to bronze my face and i feel like this brush also gives me like a really quick and even application like it just makes it look so airbrushed and nice like look at that compared to that compared to that it's so quick so simple like you don't have to spend your time like blending all the harsh lines out like it just does it for you because it's so big and fluffy just like puts the powder in all the right places if you wanted to also i'm not going to because i didn't put the concealer on my eyes so my eyes are kind of like have a natural eyeshadow look but you could also take like a bronzer and use that as your eyeshadow if you wanted to you take the same bronzer and i just go like like this and it helps me see my cheekbone a little bit better and um i just go in with the bronzer there too and it gives it a nice application like without me having to like sculpt my face or anything like it just gives it such a like perfect airbrush look without having to do all the work of like using a brush like this where it's like more precise i mean i guess you could go in with that if you wanted to like have a chiseled contour look but i'm just going for an overall bronze I want to make sure to get in the hairline as best as you can. 
And then you can bring whatever's left on the brush and like just do a little dust over your chin. And then I also take a tiny brush and I use, um, you could use the shimmery one too, but for today I'm going to use the matte one and the one that I showed you guys, this middle one. And I'm going to just go along the side of my nose. Um, I don't really like sculpt it out. I kind of just give it like an overall like defining touch. And I just go like, I make this weird face when I do my nose because it helps me like get the lines a little bit better. But I go like this, watch. Like I stretch my nose like, or like I elongate my nose so that it like pulls it and it works really good. So you should try it. So if I look funny, that's why. <laughs> I can't focus now. Wanna get in between your eyebrow? Down, 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 down. Same with the other side. Next, I'm gonna go in with blush. If you don't like blush, then you can skip this part. I used to not like blush, but now I love blush. Like, it's one of my favorite parts of doing my makeup now. So if you think you don't like blush, maybe you just need to find the right color for you. But um, I usually go in with my Morphe Blush Trio palette. I got the ones with these three colors. This is the Pop of Pink palette. Just go in with whatever shade you want. I'm gonna use this middle shade right here. And just go in with this brush. Just go like this. And this brush works so nice at applying blush. Like, I just feel like it applies it so well. And then when you put blush on too, it gives your bronzer a nice look as well because it kind of like blends into your bronzer and it just makes your face look like all is one, you know? Then I take my Morphe. This is the Pride Palette collection. I'm only gonna take this color out of it it's like a shimmer and I just use this as my highlighter you could use whatever highlighter you want but this shit is popping like, I don't know if y'all see that but it's so nice like a little sparkly glittery if you don't like that look then this isn't for you but I personally love that look I don't mind chunks of glitter on my face I just end up swirling my brush in both ways to blend it into my skin. Take the same one, go down the nose. I personally go all over my lip. I just like the look. Usually people just put it on their cupid's bow and below their lip, but I like it all over. I do it on the chin. And lastly, you want to get your brow bone. Oh, also, I didn't do my eyebrows on camera because I haven't, like, plucked them or shaved them or waxed them or threaded them in a really long time because I'm trying to grow them out, so I did not want y'all to see that mess. And then you just go in the inner corner as the final touch. We are almost done, you guys. One of the final parts is mascara and lips because we are all done with the base. So before I move on to mascara, I'm going to spray my face and I use this Morphe setting spray. Um, I also like the Milani Make It Last setting spray, so if you guys have that one, I also like that one. Or um, MAC Fix Plus, that's my shit. It's just a little too expensive for me right now. So I'm just going to use this and it's like almost out so it might squirt me. If you guys don't know, you guys can get one of these at the dollar store. As one of the final steps, we have two more steps to go. We're going to apply some mascara because we're looking real crazy and mannequin-ish. So you just curl your eyelashes. I got this from the dollar store. Works really good. You can get yours from the dollar store. Dang, you can get a lot of shit at the dollar store, actually. I even got this brush at the dollar store. Now for mascaras, I use two. And these are like my go-to bomb ass mascaras that you need to have from the drugstore. I use these two. This one is the Maybelline Lash Sensational. 
and then the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. And I go in with the Maybelline one first because it separates the eyelashes and coats them really evenly and nice. And then I go in with the um, Voluminous Carbon Black one to help thicken them up and like make them more fluffy. Just watch. You guys will see why I use two mascaras real soon. I'm gonna try to do this on camera. My mirror's a little far, so hopefully. Here, let me zoom you guys in actually. Oh, I do not want you guys to see my pores, never mind. I'm trying to stay as still as possible so I don't make that ugly ass mascara face. So I'll look at this compared to this. Then I'm going to go in with my voluminous one before it dries and watch. You could stop there if you want, but I like them to look a little bit thicker too, more fluffy, so I use this one as well. You keep going, or you can stop at this point. I just go till I feel like I like the look that it gives. And that's about right now. So this side compared to this side. I told you. Go get you some. Now we're gonna do the other side. I'm gonna speed through this part a lot faster because y'all just see what I did. All right, you guys, so I finished this side and it looks a little wonky because this side always gives me problems. I'm not sure why. My eyelash hair just like grows in all different directions and then it clumps together and it's really hard to fix. So it looks a little bit like I don't know it looks a little funny but I also got some of it like on my eyelid but no one can see it anyway because when I go like this you can't see anything so I'm not really worried about it so next we are on to the final step which is to do your lips what I've been using lately is a brown um, pencil eyeliner and this is the shade 904 light brown from NYX NYX whatever you want to call it and I just use this as my lip liner because I like the shade of it, but you could use whatever color you want. And I'm just go like that. And then you just wanna like draw on your lips real quick. Go like that. Help them mix together. Today I'm gonna use my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, but you could use whatever you want to use. Um, I also have been using the um, Morphe lipstick and the shade Fling. Anyways, this is the shade. It's really pretty. So I've been using this shade a lot. And um, yeah, but today I'm going to use this shade. This one is in the shade Stockholm by NYX. You guys can't see that, but whatever you guys will see it on my lips. You are all done. Lastly, I'm gonna show you guys um, how I do my baby hairs. I know my forehead's looking a little huge right now, so we're gonna fix that. Um, I'm using the Murray's Gel Lock Lock. This is what it looks like. It's not the best, but it's not the worst either. So I just take a little wispy thing that you would use to apply mascara. That's what it looks like. So I'll put that right now. It has like my hair stuck in it. Cute. I dip it in there, get some of it on it, and then I take my finger and like make sure it's like applied evenly all over the the brush, and then I start on this side, and I just bring down my baby hairs, and it's because my baby hairs are so fine, like my hair is like really really like I have very very fine hairs that it makes me look like I'm balding and it's not a cute look. I just do them very simplish, nothing too extravagant. I don't really know how to do all those designs like where you like swirl it. I wish I did, those are really cute, but no. I'm just gonna do this.
You can play with like how you want your swoops to. I'm sure everyone knows how to do baby hairs. What am I talking about? Right up here. Just like this. And I swear my baby hairs come out different every day I do them. y'all think i'll be right back i'm gonna go put on an outfit and i will see you guys in a sec you guys look at my boo ow she's calling me okay. look <laughs> at you're being a brat <laughs> all right y'all so this is my fit the shirt i got raw skinny jeans on with from hollister nice shoes on so, this is my Okay, now for this section of my video, we're gonna do a mini playlist. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment down below what you liked about the video. And make sure to follow me on my Instagram and my TikTok, even though TikTok's getting banned. So, you guys better go download TikTok right now. And yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye!